And the camera is on and I have no idea what I'm about to say, but I'm going to open up my mouth and see what comes out. And it is a beautiful Tuesday here in Albany, New York, the capital of New York State. Just a magnificent, wonderful, tiny little place on the beautiful Hudson River. And today you may notice that I've done something slightly different with my hair. And I... In, a, in the process of my own work on my own self, which, by the way, I do, uh, and that's why I do this work, because it is work, um, one of the spiritual practices or personal development practices that I've developed for myself or that I use for myself, that I practice almost every day, is some... Uh, some things that I've gotten from the ancient Toltecs of Mexico. And the very first thing is interrupting routines. It's doing things differently, not doing the same thing every day the same way you've always done it. And what this does is it kind of interrupts your energy field in a certain way to give you more flexibility as a uh, spiritual warrior, so to speak. So, for example, last night uh, I went for a hike at night. <laughs> right? Went for a hike, climbed a mountain last night. Uh, today, I got my hair cut a different way. These things are small and simple, yet highly symbolic to your unconscious mind. So what I'd like to invite you to do today, and I've done this in past uh, video blog posts, but I think it bears repeating, and I come back to it over and over again, is interrupting routines. And essentially, when you are taking one of my courses like Crush Anxiety Now, the routine is the way you've been thinking, your anxiety thought patterns. And we want to interrupt those. We want to, we want to dispel those routines and uh, install new habits, new patterns. But even those need to be periodically changed up and switched up, which is why I have 31 days of tools and techniques in there. And so... Ultimately, I mean, if you're working out, right, if you're going to the gym, a lot of people do a workout routine. And that's one of the worst things you can do is have a routine when you work out because your body, your unconscious mind is a kind of a cagey animal, right? It will only do the minimum to kind of give you what it thinks you want, right? So if you're constantly changing it up, uh, you're keeping your body more surprised and it it works harder for you to get fitter, right? So for me, I never hike on Monday nights. <laughs> I never climb mountains on Monday night. Boom, did it, right? It was beautiful. It was amazing. I got a little headlamp to shine my way up the trail. It was great. And uh, today, my new very low maintenance haircut, you know, it's just very good. And uh, just so you can see the top, I still have some hair, although it's a little thin up there. Uh, and that brings me to the second point, to reduce self-importance, to stop taking ourselves so damn seriously, right? Because ultimately, we're going to be dead for an eternity. Lighten up, people. This is this moment you have now to be alive, to be awake, to be aware. You are an energy field with self-awareness. What a gift that the universe has given. So... The thing with self-importance is we need to realize we are not more important than anybody else and we're not less important. This is not a lesson in humility. When I say to people, you know, they ask me how I'm doing, I go, I'm fabulous. That takes nothing away from them. I think they're fabulous too, but it's recognizing I'm fabulous and I don't need to be better than anybody, right? I am who I am and every day we have the challenge of our self-importance, our self-importance, our self-importance, and it's the ego. It's really, it's some people call it the ego. ego. Uh, the Toltecs called it the parasite, that there's literally, they, they had the idea, and I, it may actually be true, I don't know, that there is a parasite that literally is our egoic mind, right? And that whenever we're upset or flustered or offended or pissed off or annoyed or whatever, that it's literally this parasite feeds off of that energy, right? So one of the things you can do, interrupt routines and stop being so filled with self-importance. And 
you'll see my thing over here, stop thinking like a victim. Ultimately, feeling like a victim is again tied in with self-importance. And I'm not suggesting that you instantly are going to clear this stuff, but to know that this is a process. I'm working on it and I'd like to invite you to work on it and join me. And there's no cost, just watch my videos every day. You know, read my emails, sign up for the emails, join the Transformation Nation because we are people who are working on ourselves, working on creating a better experience of being alive. And it starts with getting rid of the old routines and, and getting rid of self-importance. Self-pity is part of self-importance. Being a victim. If you're a victim, well, you're pretty darn important, you know? And how dare someone treat you as if you weren't important, right? That's kind of the thing. And that feeling offended, that feeling um, of righteous kind of, huh, hmm, huh, you know, that's, that's one of the enemies of awakened, peaceful, calm, empowered living. All right, so that's it for today. Get rid of routines if you can. You can start small, brush your teeth with your left hand if you're right-handed or right-handed if you're left-handed. Comb your hair a different way. Get a new haircut. Color your hair blue. I don't care. Do something different. Do something different and, and do it with a lightness. Do it with a fun and an exploratory mindset the mind of the beginner, as uh, one of my uh, inspirational mentors, John Welshans, talked about on Sunday at Unity, the beginner's mind. What would it be like to try something new? That's interrupting routines, right? I will, I mean, I frequently have foods that I like at certain times of day, and, and I have to kind of challenge myself to eat different kinds of foods at different times of day. I, breakfast was my biggest meal, right? I stopped eating breakfast uh, about this time last year. Just stopped, boom. I now fast from, you know, the evening until often one or two in the afternoon. Uh, sometimes I'll have what I was going to have for dinner for breakfast. Sometimes I have what I was going to have for breakfast for dinner. You know, switch stuff up and have fun with it and notice that it makes you more flexible. It makes you more responsive, kind of like a martial artist, you know, is aware that a punch a strike, a blow could come from any direction and that's fine. If you expect it from here, it'll come from over here. So to have that, that no mind, that beginner's mind, I think it's, I think it's worth exploring and I think it can actually help you in every area of your life. And there's no cost. There's just an investment of your intention and your willingness to try something new. So hopefully you're open to that. And if not, that's okay too, because I'm working on it and I'm going to make progress whether you do or not. So I'd like to invite you to join me. And if you're not ready, that's okay too. And if you are ready, jump inside. There's a lot more here. Sign up for my daily mind mastery newsletter or my video blogs or go to amazon.com and buy some of my CDs, you know, like do something different today <laughs> and love yourself. Be fabulous because whatever made us, whether it's God, the universe, nature, the earth, Gaia, it makes good stuff. My Sunday school teacher told me back when I was in kindergarten, Mark, God doesn't make junk. And I didn't understand it at the time, but I kind of am starting to get it, that we are all fabulous. Just being here is so amazing. I want you to experience it even in some small way today. All right, so I'm going to stop yapping. I love to yap and look at that. I didn't know what I was going to say and now you can't shut me up. I think that's fabulous because there's no routine. I don't know what's going to happen next. It's more interesting. You never know what's going to happen. So you pay attention, but in a, in a way that's, that's gently accepting that whatever happens is perfect. There's no expectation. There's no uh, heavy demands. Of, oh, it has to be this way. There's no gripping. It's, it's light. It's free-flowing. It's relaxed. And that is kind of the opposite of anxiety, isn't it? Mm, yes. So if you've experienced anxiety, most of us have, heavy stress or whatever, check out one of my Crush Anxiety courses. If you're just curious and you want to hang out for a while, that's cool too. Check out my emails, check out my videos, check out my music. This is a place where I am just doing my work every single day, the work that I was put here on earth to do. And those of you who are getting it, great. And those of you who don't get it, that's fine too. Go find something that works for you. I love you. I appreciate you. I respect you. And I honor the divine within you. My name is Mark Shepard. 
honesthypnosis.com, and I will see you on the inside.